Yo, football game. I'm really happy for you, and I'm gonna let you finish. But Princeton had one of the best bands of all time. It's the Princeton University Band. Great team is being led into action. 
but the blue team tries to refuse to grant them access. And it's just really madness out there. It's a, a running of the bulls type of chaos. It's pretty ridiculous. And the blue team is attempting to push into the gray team zone, but they're stonewalled by their defense. And once again, it is just a running of the bulls type of nonsense out there. Really just utter ridiculousness. I really don't know what's going on. It's, it's a mess. But all of a sudden, we see someone from the blue team Cartwheeling, he's lost his head, he's lost the jacket, he's yanked the gray flag. And the blue team is victorious and a big celebration ensues. Great. How unallegorical. But honestly, to avoid any potential controversy, we wanted to make our show less offensive this time around, so we did some research about what the good people of South Carolina enjoy. Things like taking Stephen Colbert literally. Planting palmetto trees next to tiny moons. Health care for illegal immigrants. You lie! Hobbies. The right to choose. Charleston choose. Long walks on the beach. Long walks on the Appalachian Trail. Isn't that right, South Carolina Governor Mark Sanford? We understand your mistake. Appalachian Trail, an affair with Argentinian journalists, definitely start with the same letter. Or maybe you were just trying to be hip. After all, South America is totally the new deep south. Whatever the reason for your fibbing, we discover there's quite a glorious history of little white lies perpetrated by famous natives of South Carolina. No, Andrew Jackson claimed to have fought over a dozen duels for his wife's honor. At least four of them originated from people calling him Andrew Jerkson. Soul singer James Brown was known to sing his hit song, I Feel Good, even when he was just feeling okay. <laughs> Baseball great shoeless Joe Jackson just wore shoes that looked like feet. On his album, Oop Bop Da, jazz musician Dizzy Gillespie claimed Skibbity Bop Boo, although everybody knows that Skibbity Bop Doo Wop. Senator and former Governor Strom Thurmond routinely lied about his age at Washington, D.C. petting zoos to get free children's pony rides because we can't say nay to the offer of a gratuitous gallop, a country canter, or a tax-exempt trot. The band forms a pony bribe and plays free ride. 